there beautiful people welcome back to my channel I hope you are doing well on this marvelous marvelous day so today I am going to do a what's in my model bag video so as you can see I am coming to you fresh faced I just took a shower pulled my hair back washed it I'm gonna straighten it and blow it out and all that good stuff so um, tomorrow I have a job with rent the runway if you guys haven't heard of it, it's a clothing brand and basically it's like literally what it's saying. You can just rent clothing and then return. So it's really great for like bloggers and people that are into fashion. So that way you can always have something to post and like a new outfit to wear. So I think that's pretty cute and I really love what they stand for. So super excited to work with this brand. I thought I would show you guys what I take to work with me just so that I can feel super prepared. Always back home like all my model friends would say, girl, you are grandma for real because you have everything. And I'm like, yes. Like, I'm totally okay with that because I would always rather be over prepared than under prepared any day. So, I bought the goods. This is what I like to call my goodie bag. This bad baby right here is packed with everything you could possibly need. This is the emergency kit. You will never, ever, ever go wrong with this bag. So my sister LaShonda actually made this for my sister Olivia for her wedding, but um, she didn't end up using everything. So <laughs> what better person than to give it to me, right? So I'll show you guys what's inside. This little emergency kit, best thing ever. I really love this bag because I'm super into like rose gold and metallics and stuff like that. And it has a nice zipper on the side and then a little package in the back. And these handles are really nice and sturdy so it's good for all our goods in here. So when you open it up, this is what you see. Voila! I know, right? Everything you could possibly need. So as women, we have so many things to go down the list of what we need to remember in order to keep ourselves 100% and ready at all times. Feeling good, looking good, smelling good, all that stuff. So I'll just share a couple of the things that are like super important that are in this bag. So number one, boom, got some degree right here. Let me tell you, I did a photo shoot and I was working and it was great and we were there all day. And the stylist, oh, she was so sweet, so lovely, so nice, but she had really bad body odor. And there is nothing worse than being on set and having to work with somebody that's just not smelling very fresh because, you know, that's just really close interaction. I'm all in your face, you're all in my face. And it would just be, you know, horrible. Never go without. I love this little degree uh, dry spray because it doesn't leave any marks on the clothing and you're good to go. Next we have some band-aids. Yes, the girls got first aid. You never know what could happen. I've got some little cleansing towelettes and alcohol swabs in here. Especially in the winter time, these Kleenex come in handy. You know, like if you're on set and you're having a little sniffles, this is perfect to just carry with you just in case. We've got some Cool Mint Listerine. We just want to make sure we're keeping our breath nice and refreshed after we have lunch or something like that. Nobody wants to smell like your onion breath after you had your salad or, you know can't have mouthwash without our toothbrush and some handy dandy toothpaste so if you're traveling or you're on the road or whatever this is always obviously great to have you kind of never know what happens you don't want to have something in your teeth and then you have to stop the whole shoot and then get it out and all of that so of course before you get there but after lunchtime it's great to just refresh and then of course we've got some dental floss we want to keep our pearly whites looking nice and fresh I mean because nobody wants to be the girl with spinach in their teeth that's just <laughs> Embarrassing, you know, you get a little pepper in there, you don't want to be digging all in your mouth. So, a little dental floss takes you a long way. And a razor if you forget to shave, always keep one of these handy dandy. All women don't shave, but I'm the type of person I like to keep it nice and neat and clean. So, have one of these just in case. I've got this all purpose nail kit. This comes in handy if you break a nail or you have a hang nail or something like that. That is the most annoying thing ever. And of course, you can just fix it up a little bit, you know gotta keep the nails fat. I just got mine done so I'm feeling good talking with my hands. But it's fine. And of course for my ladies just in case if you wear tampons or you need panty liners, pads, whatever you need make sure you have some of those in your bag again just in case. You know that's just one of those conscious things that it's like ooh we don't need those problems. Oh hell no! Oh, oh. Next we got some of these Purell wipes. I really love these. They're moisturizing. They feel great on your skin. They're very soft and soothing. Again, it's just a nice little refresher or the pick me up or, you know, if you're about to try on some clothes and you just ate lunch, then it's good to just kind of wipe your hands down if you couldn't make it to the restroom. So these are good. 
And then in this little part of the bag right here, this is where I store some of my little makeup goodies just in case. Now I've worked with some excellent makeup artists in my experience and for the most part they always do well with my skin and having my shade and knowing my shade but sometimes you know you never know they want to put something that's too dark or a little lighter or they just don't know so you can just say hey if you need I've got my own foundation Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless this is good to go. And then I've just got this Their Real Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics. Love this mascara. It just makes your eyelashes so thick, full, and voluminous. I also have this Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And then last thing that's important, I would say, for a lot of the curly girls, I have this little container that I got from Target. And it's just a small, like, travel size container. And I just have a little bit of my curly hair product that I use in here. And um, this really comes in handy because sometimes when you're on set and they want to just refresh your curls and Instead of them having to um, you know use heat on your hair and do like little spiral wand curls it's good to just have this in your bag you can wet it a little bit put some of your curling cream or whatever it is that you like to use in your hair you're refreshed you're ready to go and we don't have to worry about heat damage so there you go all right you guys so that is it for the goodie bag as you can see this size bag it's a little bit bigger than my hand it's the perfect fit to fit all of your goodies in there so you will always be prepared fresh smelling good looking good and feeling good all right so if y'all know me if y'all love me y'all know what i love what keeps the skin glowing can you guess it yes the coconut oil okay because we do not want to be dry and looking rusty that is not cute and i'm telling you it shows up on camera and we don't need anybody trying to zoom in in our picture and say oh girl your knees was ashy oh girl your ankles was ashy mm -mm. oh and right here we got to get in between the crevices you know in our hands we don't want to be looking all dry right okay so the next couple of things that are important to take with you on your modeling job are these bad babies Woo! my goodness this is like the size of my face lord have mercy but um yes i have this marvelous strapless bra from victoria's secret it fits so nice and as you can see it has that nice rounded look so my breasts look nice and full and um, right up here it's nice and straight not a whole lot of lace or design something very plain and simple because you don't want to be able to see it under the clothing and then I just have that same bra in black, depending on what we're wearing. If it's something that is off the shoulder, it's good to have that strapless bra. So I've got this black bra from Victoria's Secret as well. This is a marvelous t-shirt bra, if you guys can feel it. It is extremely soft and it's so comfortable. It's got the little straps here. And um, yeah, like you just want to find something that's super supportive and it keeps you up and lifted and you know comfortable all day long because uh, you know a lot of the jobs they'll be like from 9 to 5 so I don't know about y'all but I'm still looking for that 24 hour bra I don't think they exist because as soon as I get home that's the first thing I'm trying to do is rip off my bra since we're still on boobies we've got these bad babies and I also have this kind this one is from Victoria's Secret and these are the uh, pink petals and they are reusable so they're just little stickies and you can stick them on your nipples I love these because this just covers up a little bit more you know if you have like a larger areola or whatever something like that cuz hey, it just happens right but these have a little bit more of a cushion to it so if you do have to go without a bra you have something that is supporting you and not showing your nipples especially if you have piercings or something like that you just kind of want to keep it nice and smooth and looking good and so of course to go with the bra i have a pair of black thong victoria's secret seamless underwear and then the same victoria's secret seamless underwear and nude just want to have something that is seamless so that you aren't able to see it through the garments and I just always carry a pair of black and a pair of nude just whatever is gonna look best sometimes you can see the black like if you have something white and it's better to have nude but it's just good to have both that way you feel prepared and if y'all know me y'all know I love robes I got this one right here so 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 cute and comfy got this one from Target but um yeah I also have this black robe that I like to carry with me sometimes and I got this one from Target as well. It's really just like a simple, plain black robe and it's long sleeves. 
most of the times they'll carry robes and like house shoes and stuff on set but just you know if, in case they don't fit or like if they're too short and you're not comfortable with what they have then you can just bring your own and my favorites oh faithful i wear these literally all the time these little babies my uggs i love these slippers they're so cute and comfortable and fuzzy and on the inside they've got little buzz and i just love first of all that they're gold like this just brings so much joy to my life but um yeah you know you just wear these a lot of times again like they'll have flip-flops or something like that but you know if you were to get real comfortable you know especially if you're wearing heels all day on set your feet hurt get you some nice slippers that you can wear that are heavy duty as you guys can see these um have a hard part on the bottom so you can wear them out and you know they'll last for a long time so the other thing that I like to have with me is my iPad um, you know this is just great for if you have some downtime if you want to get some work done on your iPad and um, of course remember to bring your charger along with a box because I feel like for the longest time I would always forget to bring the box and I just would have the cord and you just don't want to be scavenging around looking for a charger especially like if your phone needs charging like that is extremely important because I always need my phone we're on the subways and the trains and all of that we just got to know when they're coming, where we're going, all of that, you just need your phone, right? And the last couple things that you definitely don't want to forget, I've got my wallet here, and of course I've got my ID and my cards, just because when you get there, a lot of times they will ask for identification at the front desk just to make sure you are who you say you are, especially if, especially if you're working with a bigger client. And then of course, I've got my cell phone here, and there's Pepper, say hey, this is my baby. Um, yeah, you guys, so that's pretty much it that I have in my model bag that I'll take to work with me. And I'll show you the bags that I put all of these things in. It kind of just depends on my mood and where I'm going. But I have this Victoria's Secret bag that I'll carry sometimes. The best part about this bag is, again, these handles are nice and thick and solid. So... You know I don't have to worry about it breaking right here this is just a really great bag it's huge as you can see and it fits all of the stuff that your girl needs in there so that's really awesome again it's got the nice little rose gold detail that I love and of course if I don't feel like carrying that bag or if I'm traveling for too long of a day anything pretty much over like 30 minutes if I have to do too much walking then I'll just go ahead and have this with me La la, so shout out to Danaba. She got me this handy dandy suitcase. It is the perfect size, and I'm telling y'all, you have to invest in a really nice suitcase, and this one is amazing. So yeah, you guys, that is pretty much all that I carry in my bag. Honestly, I never feel out of place. I never feel unprepared because it's just good to sometimes have more than not enough because clients love to see that you are there, you are ready, you are prepared, you have everything that you need because that's how you kind of can, you know, build those relationships and get rebooked for that job because they see that you are professional and you are ready to go. And a lot of times they are paying you good money, so you got to have your stuff together. I am going to about wrap it up. I'm going to get ready for bed. I do have the job, like I said earlier, with the Rent the Runway tomorrow, so if I can get some... Um, footage of that then i'll try to get some behind the scenes for you guys thank you so much for watching this video if you have not already subscribed then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell so that you will get notifications and you'll never miss any of my posts and then of course follow me on instagram at brianna l right and i'll post that right here that's it for today guys i hope you all enjoyed this what's in my bag video and i will see you in my next one much love peace Good morning, beautiful people. I just blew my hair out. I just got it in this little top knot bun, you know, to keep it together while I'm on the train and everything. But um, yeah, I slept pretty good. There was like some construction going on a little bit last night, so it was kind of a struggle, but you girl made it through. So um, I am, like I said earlier, I'm on my way to rent the runway, so I'll see you guys when I get there. Ooh, shiny, 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 shiny. Yeah, look at that sun. <gasps> it's too bright.
agents email me. I'm like, hey, can you go to a casting? So you gotta be ready at all times. I feel so prepared with all my stuff.